Southern Mississippi's Golden Eagles at home. They take on the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee and the Blazers of UAB. We'll take a look at all the highlights and we'll sit down and visit with Golden Eagles center Eddie Davis out of Las Vegas, Nevada. All that and a whole lot more today on Southern Miss Sports Today with Doc Sadler. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Doc Sadler, presented by Bank Corp South. A couple of home games for the Golden Eagles against two of the top teams in Conference USA, a Thursday night battle with league-leading Middle Tennessee, then a Saturday afternoon contest against the Blazers of UAB. And we're going to talk first about the meeting with the Middle Tennessee on Thursday. And, Doc, this is a, one of the more talented and deep teams in the league, Middle Tennessee. And over about, uh, well, over about uh, 30 minutes or so, the Golden Eagles battled them tooth and nail and uh, well middles able to bring find a way to win it right there towards the end well again you know John there's there's no secrets uh, uh, in the last three years they've been probably the, the 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 best team in this league and so you know that means they've got good players and that means they know how to win and uh, you know last year they had the the player of the year and the year before and then this year they're probably gonna have the player of the year so they're very difficult to guard defensively and uh, you know, we played about as well as we could play for about 36, 37 minutes and I had a chance to, to win the basketball game, but, uh, you know, they got 12 straight uh, straight stops down the stretch and we, we just, uh, you know, missed some free throws, missed an easy basket. Uh, and next thing you know, the ball game, instead of being, you know, a two or three point ball game, it's a six or seven point ball game and they just know how to win at that point. So. Uh, you know, give them credit. Uh, you know, they go to their guys when they need to go to them. And uh, bottom line is they made the plays down the stretch that we didn't make. They made a big shot. Uh, you know, King makes a big shot. He gets a big drive down the, the baseline. And uh, next thing you know, you know, the pressure's on us and it's not on them. So, uh, but, you know, for 36 minutes, 37 minutes, we, we played as well as we could play. And, uh, you know, it's that's just... Uh, the difference between winning and losing. I know you and I had talked about this. They're a team that's been in that situation so many times. They, uh, you know, they they know they're going to win it at the end or have a chance to win it at the end. Where the Eagles are still kind of in that process, maybe of learning that, of getting that confidence up, where they know they've got a chance to win like that. Well, again, they've, uh, you know, you look at their league schedule and uh, they've won a lot of ball games by ten or less points, and a lot of those ball games, a couple of them in overtime. So. Uh, as I told our team, you're going to have to beat them. You're not going to, they're not going to make a mistake. We had four turnovers in the last four minutes. They didn't have any. So, uh, again, you've got to defend uh, as, as well as you defend all game in the last five minutes. You can't make any mental mistakes. You can't give offensive rebounds. And, you know, you give one or two of those, and that's the difference between winning and losing. And, uh, you know, I know that, uh, you know, you don't want to do that, but we did all those things. And, uh, you know, therefore we came up, uh, you know, uh, on the short end of the stick. And not to make excuses, but about, I guess, four and a half, five minutes to go, Tyree Griffin had to go out a bit out of the game with a, a bit of a, a hip injury. And so all of a sudden, you know, your playmaker, your quarterback's out of the ball game. Well, he went out, I think, with 421 to go in the game. And like you say, we'd only turned the basketball over seven times in the first 36 minutes, but we turned it over four times in the last four. And, uh, you know, not only do, do the turnovers hurt you, uh, you don't get easy shots. At that particular moment, we were really doing a good job, and Tyree was doing a great job of getting inside the defense when they were playing their zone, and, and, and Tez was working the baseline and stuff, and we were getting some easy baskets. But uh, when he uh, went out of the ball game, uh, we no longer got those easy baskets, and that was the, that was one of the reasons why uh, Middle Tennessee came up with the win. Well, it was the Golden Eagles and the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee Thursday night at Reed Green Coliseum. Let's go back and take a look at the action. Eagles go to Edwards on the left wing. He goes Eddie Davis. Eddie, a moving three-pointer. Good. He hit it. Bingo. Off the left wing. Griffin Griffin splits a double team, feeds into the corner, and there's McGee with a three out of the left corner. Bingo. Dominic McGee hits his first shot in a 6-3 lead. Top of the bubble. Griffin driving back to Richardson. Three ball, left wing. Bingo. D'Lo off the bench and knocks down a three. Richardson driving. And now back to row, a three off the left wing by Tim. Bingo. 
Tim Rowe and Eddie Davis with a couple of threes. Kermit Davis wants to talk it over. Back to Richardson. He's going to drive inside, give it to Holland. Three out of the left corner. Bingo! Kevin Holland has a couple of threes, and the Eagles are red hot. Richardson backs away. Pull-up jumper. Three on the way. No good. Rebound drain. He's got an easy layup. Drain in the right place at the right time, and LD lays it in. Driving in, cut off. Feeds inside Edwards. Turnaround jumper. Banked it in. High off the glass. A fall away banker off the backboard by Edwards. His first bucket. Eagles to drain. He's going to drive the baseline, go up with it, and oh, it goes in and hung on the rim. LD laid it in. Edwards faking, dribbling, spinning to the foul line, fall away jumper. Got it. Well, it didn't look like it was going to go, but it went in for Cortez. Out front, Griffin sees an opening, gives it to McGee. Turned down the three. Here's an 18 footer. Good. Dominic McGee able to hit it. Crossover, Griffin driving inside, hands it off to Edwards, he dumped it in. Great assist, Tyrese in all kinds of pain. Griffin spinning, fighting, dribbling, down inside, feeds Edwards, reverse layup. Boy, he's got eyes in the back of his head, beautiful assist. Here's Griffin up top, Griffin sees an opening, bounces down inside, reverse layup, good by Edwards, and the Eagles take the lead. With the basketball fakes and drives and feeds inside wide open row and he dunked it. What a look by Griffin. Griffin looked right and passed right in the middle to Griffin to Rowe, who dunked it in. Edwards gonna drive down inside, jumper in the lane. Good boy, is he a good one? Edwards has got 10 in the second half. Bounce pass Richardson, drives inside, lays it up, got a layup. The littlest guy, D'Lo, got in and got a big layup. Into the corner, Richardson. Richardson to drain. Here's a three ball, left wing. Short, no good, but Edwards tipped it in and got fouled. How does he do it? Cortez went way up in the air. McGee left corner. McGee gives it back, drain. Here's a three left wing. Bingo! From downtown, LD knocks one down. Middle Tennessee gets out of Hattiesburg for the victory tonight. 72-62 over the Golden Eagles. been thinking about it since I was a kid. Mom would be so proud. If I could do it for a living. Using my mom's recipes to open up a cupcake shop. For my daughter to go to vet school. Singing karaoke in all 50 states. Captain in my own shrimp boat. Tell us what you dream about. With the right loan or savings plan, we can make it a reality, no matter how crazy. That's right, thank you. Thank you very much. Keeping you within reach of what matters most. We're Bancorp South, and we're right where you are. Hey Southern Miss fans, it's Toby Barker, Mayor of Hattiesburg. Mickey Spagnola once wrote, if you're going to war and you get to choose first, choose Southern Mississippi. Always choose Southern Mississippi. Don't fight Southern Mississippi because no matter how hard you fight, those folks will fight harder. His words capture the character of our institution and our city. We here in Hattiesburg are writing a new story, one where we rise to our challenges with great excitement one where we push our city to reach its potential, and most importantly, one where there's real partnership between the University of Southern Mississippi and the city of Hattiesburg. Southern Miss is vital to our city's success, from the quality of life it provides through athletics and the arts to the talent it cultivates in the classroom. We share a common destiny. Hattiesburg is proud to be Mississippi's college city, and we hope as we go forward, you'll join us in supporting our Golden Eagles this season as they go to the top. And so that was a look at Thursday night's ball game between Southern Miss and Middle Tennessee. Saturday afternoon, the Golden Eagles take on the Blazers of UAB, a team the Eagles have been playing for a long, long time, ever since UAB has started basketball in the late 1970s. And, uh, Doc, they, uh, they came in uh, arguably with two of the best big men in the league and Chris Coakley and uh, William Lee. Coakley was a little uh, injured, didn't play a lot, 
but uh, it's a talented UAB ball club you played on Saturday. There's no question about it. In fact, if if not the, uh, you know, they're one of the three most talented teams, and they've got a good basketball team. They got a good point guard. They got a wing that can go make plays, and then they've got a tremendous shooter. And then the inside game is really, really good. So. You know, I knew that it was going to be a, a challenge. Uh, every time we've played them, it's been a challenge. And, you know, once again, just like on uh, on Thursday night, uh, you know, we played well. We go up at halftime and we're in good shape. And we talk about, uh, you know, playing defense to win the ball game. And you come out and give up 11 points in the first three or four minutes. And next thing you know, it's a game again. And, uh, you know, you, you fight along there and you go up five points. And then you give up back-to-back three-point plays, and then it, you know, then it, then it went downhill fast from there. Uh, when we uh, had trouble scoring, and they, they made a couple of big shots, uh, you know, Lee makes a huge three-point shot, uh, you know, at the buzzer. And uh, again, uh, we don't have the ability to get the easy baskets or the offensive rebound baskets, nor are we able to get, uh, you know, uh, steals on the defensive end. So you got to be solid, but. Uh, you're not going to give up 87 points and, and and win many ball games, and that's what we did. A lot like the Middle Tennessee ball, they they came at you with that one three one kind of half court trap for the most of the part of the game. In fact, you handled it so well, they really kind of backed out of that uh, on you. So you, you did a good job early trying to attack what they were doing. Well, the you know we've played against that so much this year that I think we feel very comfortable. In fact, uh, I thought we played uh, as good as against it as we have all year and uh, you know so we got a lot of easy baskets out of it but at the same time uh, you know uh, when they did go to man to man we rushed a couple of shots we get down four or five points and don't realize that the game is still being you know it's still a lot of time left and you know but one or two shots because we don't get offensive rebounds uh, it becomes an issue. It was a ball game. In fact, you're up, I think, 59-57, and uh, they hit a couple of big buckets to get at, and that's what you're talking about. That's when, instead of just maybe coming down and you know taking your time, and uh, you're still right in the ball game, uh, the team made a few mistakes, and a team like UAB is going to capitalize on that. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, you break uh, rhythm by going to the free throw line or going inside, and. Uh, you know, even though we got a, a few more inside uh, baskets, uh, if you're if you're relying to stay in the ball game by shooting jump shots, uh, it's just a matter of time till you you miss two or three and the game's over. So at that particular moment, you got to be able to go inside and score. At the same time, uh, you know you got to you got to defend. You score 69 points. Uh, that's enough points to win. It's Offensively is, is not the issue. We have got to defend, uh, and I don't know if it's because we're playing so many minutes we get tired, but Saturday night we just, uh, you know, we didn't play the last six or seven minutes defensively. It was the Golden Eagles and the Blazers of UAB, a Saturday afternoon contest at Reed Green Coliseum. Let's go back and take a look at all the action. Let's see if Drain can get high. Griffin driving cut off. Now back to Drain. He drives the baseline, gets down inside, puts it up and in. He just powered that one up and in. So Davies has his first bucket. Holland back to Drain. He'll drive to the baseline, pull up 15-footer. Good by LD. Drain's hit his first two shots. Eagles tie the ball game at 19 with nine and a half to go. Up high. Edwards going to drive and spin on Darling. Fall away jumper. Good by Cortez. And the Eagles have the lead. Six for Edwards, 21-19. Edwards got to work into the corner. McGee fakes, drives down inside, got a layup. It's a good head and shoulder fake by McGee along the baseline to get a man in the air. Griffin driving, cut off, back to McGee. He's open, a three out front by Dom Bingo. Good job of moving the basketball. Dom's got 10, and Eagles tie it back up at 26. Drives and cut off back to Davis. Eddie, a three ball out front, bingo. Now that'll open it up a little bit. Eddie's first bucket. Eagles lead 29-27. Griffin down to Davis. Davis working on Sullivan. Great move inside. Put it up and in, and he got fouled. Eddie, reverse layup, hung in the air. Sullivan was on his back, picked up the foul. Bounce pass into Edwards. Edwards drives inside, got a layup. Nice move by Cortez. And the Eagles go back up 38-37. He's doubled up, got bumped, no call to McGee. Three ball, left wing Dom, bingo. Dominic McGee, he's having a good one. He's got to do it. And the Eagles lead 41-39. McGee out front, working on Darling. Back to Griffin. Griff's going to shoot a three. Bingo. Griffin a three. Back-to-back -back threes. Eagles go up five. 
McGee out to Griffin for a three. Bingo. And a good assist from McGee. And Griff knocked it down and gives the Eagles the lead back. Griffin at the foul line. Out to Holland. Now back to McGee. Three ball right wing. Bingo. Boy, Dom's feeling it. He is feeling it. He's got 18 of the Golden Eagles going 50 to 48. Two on one break. Griffin to Edwards. Edwards goes. Oh, and he dunked it in. Oh, man. He went way up in the air and dunked that one in. And the Golden Eagles lead 53 to 50. That's as good as you'll ever see right there. So Edwards back to D'Lo. D'Lo bounce pass inside. Rowe got a layup. Great set play. And they beat Copley. And Rowe got the layup. 20 to 2 run. Holland a three out front for the Eagles. No good. Rebound Edwards. Edwards back up on Lee. Lee blocked his shot. Edwards got it again and got a layup. To end the long Golden Eagle ground. Griffin into the corner. Drains in. He shoots a three. Bingo out of the right corner. Drain with a three. Griffin back out to Holland. Kevin will shoot a three out front. Bingo. Kevin Holland's first bucket of the ball game. The Golden Eagles are going to fall 87-69 to UAB. When you're born to soar, you're destined to rise above. Curiosity leads to exhilarating discoveries. Challenges become opportunities. And passions become filled with purpose. The world looks different from above. The University of Southern Mississippi, where eagles soar. Hey basketball fans, the 2018 Conference USA Basketball Championship presented by Baylor Scott & White Sports Performance Center at the Star is coming to Frisco, Texas. 24 men's and women's basketball teams playing 22 games will take place at Ford Center at the Star, headquarters to the Dallas Cowboys. Join us for four days of exciting hoops March 7th through the 10th with CUSA titles and NCAA automatic bids on the line. For tickets and more information, go to conferenceusa.com. You won't want to miss hoops at the Star this March. So the Golden Eagles uh, wrapped up the weekend with a ball game there against UAB, and you just had a chance to take a look at all the highlights. And uh, our feature today is on Golden Eagle Eddie Davis, young man out of Las Vegas, Nevada, who has uh, been a guy that's battled some injuries, Doc, throughout his career. But I think the first time you saw him may have been out in Las Vegas, right, at, at some sort of a, a high school tournament. Uh, yeah, it was. It was the last day of summer recruiting, and we still had some scholarships because of you know, uh, some guys leaving the program. And, uh, you know, I, I thought he could maybe be a player kind of like uh, George Niang was for us at Iowa State because he could shoot the basketball. And, you know, fact of the matter is, uh, you know, he just, he, he's had so many injuries. He tore his label his freshman year, then he broke his foot his second year. And, and so, uh, you know, he's not played a lot of basketball. And because of the broke foot, he, you know, he's gotten a little heavy. and. You know, he's starting to play uh, He's starting to play the way I'd hope he'd play. He's making some shots now. Uh, hopefully he uh, is going to be ready for a stretch, you know, these last three or four ball games in the league and then get ready for the conference. And he adds a lot to us because the one thing he does have is, is some size and some toughness. But if he can add the shot to it, uh, then that's just a bonus. Yeah, and he's a guy, he's a tough matchup out there on the perimeter where he can shoot the three-pointer about as well as anybody. Well, he has, and you know, the last uh, three or four games, he's actually started the game off with a three-point shot and made it. Uh, again, he gives you some offense that you got to have, and more importantly, uh, you know, uh, he's a big body in there that can put his body on somebody and maybe on the defensive boards, he may not get the rebound, but uh, maybe he can keep uh, the other team from getting an easy putback. Well, we enjoyed sitting down uh, with Eddie as uh, we did this feature for the show. I think you're going to enjoy it too. A lot of fun to sit down and visit with him. So let's take a few minutes and meet up close and personal Golden Eagle Eddie Davis. Well, there's a misconception about Las Vegas, you know, people think it's a, a late night city, but once you move off the strip, it's just like any other city, you know, the only thing is that everything is 24 hours, that's what I had to adjust to here, like I didn't know gas stations closed, and so it's just, it just different in that pers uh, perspective, and you wouldn't believe 
back in like middle school, I couldn't even shoot. I was a two hand shooter, you know, shooting like that. But like I developed like quickly. Like, I, got, I got into this game really quick. Uh, it was easy, it was natural. Like shooting, I got a shooting coach back in eighth grade and it, it changed quick. I was able to shoot. Uh, so I guess Las Vegas, like there's a lot more like basketball, more guards. It's not really a big man. Uh, city, so like I learned how to shoot, dribble, you know, more than like post up. Um, my role, you know, I talk, I, I talk a lot to Tim. Tim asks me a lot of things. I tell him because I, I know a lot. Uh, I played four years, so I know a lot. Like with the posts and Doc's offense, like where he wants us to be. So you know, Tim, Tim asks me a lot. Drain can ask a couple times. So I, I kind of just play a little veteran role, kind of. Explaining what Doc wants to people sometimes, uh, just trying to talk more. I'm not that talkative, like on the court, and I think that's one of my problems. I need to talk more, and just so I just try to help, like you know, the people that don't really know what they're doing, try to guide them so so they can understand things. We really want to win. We're really pushing for it, so we work hard every day. Like every every day, we know we gotta work. We gotta improve you know every loss is like it hurts us even more because we knew we know we could be anyone in this league like we, we truly could I, I don't think we played anyone that was like man i don't think we, we could get them i mean a lot of games you know middle tennessee it's gonna be it's tough like it's not like oh you know we're gonna go in there and kill them but i like there's not one team I, we played that was like man it's just we can't beat them uh, right now, I'm studying exercise science to be a, a strength and conditioning coach at a college, which would be an interesting job. Still work with uh, developing basketball players. You know, it'd be a nice experience. So I'm like making sure I get all my homework done, studying. I uh, play video games. I play Fortnite. You know, it's a video game. Uh, I watch a lot of movies. You know, just when in my, I just fully relax. Oh, I, I mean, it's a dream to always to play as long as you can. Even if, even if it's at the rec center, I'll, I'll always be playing. You know, I'll be that 80-year-old man shooting free throws in the, in, on the basketball court. But uh, to to make it to where I can uh, continue playing, I gotta be able to, I gotta be able to just do everything. I feel like I got what I specifically gotta work on. Maybe be able to dribble more. Maybe get my turnovers down. Uh, get maybe a little bit more athleticism in me. And maybe a better better uh, post player you know that's one of my struggles right now is, you know I'm not really a back to the basket person and that's what like our team is missing and I'm trying to develop it but it's just it's something tough you know to teach myself So a look at the Golden Eagle Eddie Davis and now Eddie and the rest of the Golden Eagles turn their attention to the final regular season road trip of the year. We'll head out to San Antonio on Thursday night to take on UTSA and then in the Don Haskins Center in El Paso to take on the UTEP Miners on Saturday. And Doc, those are two teams you uh, were able to beat here at Reed Green Coliseum, but uh, it's tough at San Antonio. It's tough, as you know, out in El Paso. So a couple of tough ones this week. It really is. And you know, the, uh, San Antonio has played some really good basketball here the last few weeks and you know UTEP went on the road last week and got a good win at, uh, at Charlotte so uh, it's going to be senior night when you play them on Saturday night so there will be some emotion for those guys but uh, it's going to be a tough trip. Uh, both those teams, San Antonio as you well know has a Jackson kid that's uh, you know when he's scoring uh, 20 points a game he, uh, they're tough. The Offensively they're about as efficient as any team in the league. They're more like us, though. They're the size-wise. We should match up much better uh, with them than we have uh, against some of the other teams. And then on Saturday night, you go down to UTEP, and it's a little bit different. They've got size, and so it's going to be a, a, a game Thursday night that uh, looks a lot like ourselves. But on Saturday night, it's going to be a game that we're going to have to do a good job on the defensive boards and and make some shots. And uh, El Paso is always a tough place to play, and. Uh, you know, you go out there uh, on the second game and uh, you got the altitude that people don't talk about. 
uh, hopefully with our team, you know, not playing a lot of guys, we'll fight through that. And, uh, you know, it's uh, two games that's going to be very, very good games for us and take one of them at a time and hopefully, uh, you know, find a way to win uh, some close games. You are uh, heading into the final stretch run. And uh, when you guys got back into the gym a day or so ago, where was the attention? Just the little things, kind of fine tune it, try to get a little better in a, in a couple of areas to maybe have some success on this trip? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously we got we to gotta figure some things out defensively, uh, you know, and maybe make some changes on that end. Uh, when the defense is away from us, you know, when the first half, when we can coach them and get them in the positions that we need them in, uh, you know, in the first half, we, we're a decent defensive team. But when they get away from our bench, uh, we're just not as efficient as we need to be. So we need to tweak some things and get ready for, uh, you know, the game uh, on Thursday and Saturday and then uh, get ready for uh, Louisiana Tech and then the tournament. All right, Doc. Thanks, as always, for the visit each week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, John. All right, the Golden Eagles again on the roads Thursday night out at the uh, UTSA Convocation Center in San Antonio and then the Don Haskins Center on uh, Saturday night to take on the UTEP Miners. Thanks for being with us this week, everybody. And don't forget, Monday night we're at Georgia Blue for the Golden Eagle Hotline. Why not come by, visit with us, and we'll talk a little Golden Eagle basketball. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time with another inside look into Golden Eagle basketball. You got me falling hard. been thinking about it since I was a kid. Mom would be so proud. If I could do it for a living. Using my mom's recipes to open up a cupcake shop. For my daughter to go to vet school. Singing karaoke in all 50 states. Captain in my own shrimp boat. Tell us what you dream about. With the right loan or savings plan, we can make it a reality, no matter how crazy. That's right, thank you. Thank you very much. Keeping you within reach of what matters most. We're Bancorp South, and we're right where you are. Hey Southern Miss fans, it's Toby Barker, mayor of Hattiesburg. Mickey Spagnola once wrote, if you're going to war and you get to choose first, choose Southern Mississippi. Always choose Southern Mississippi. Don't fight Southern Mississippi because no matter how hard you fight, those folks will fight harder. His words capture the character of our institution and our city. We here in Hattiesburg are writing a new story, one where we rise to our challenges with great excitement one where we push our city to reach its potential, and most importantly, one where there's real partnership between the University of Southern Mississippi and the city of Hattiesburg. Southern Miss is vital to our city's success, from the quality of life it provides through athletics and the arts to the talent it cultivates in the classroom. We share a common destiny. Hattiesburg is proud to be Mississippi's college city, and we hope as we go forward, you'll join us in supporting our Golden Eagles this season as they go to the top.